Okay, now we're on the last lesson for this unit, which is 9-7, Graph and Analyze Relationships. Um, this one is very similar to 9-6. You still have your chart, and it's slightly more similar to 9-5 in the sense that it provides the sentence frame for you. So again, you're finding the rule here. The only difference now is you're also graphing it. And the cool thing about graphs if it is a specific pattern and there's a certain rule to it, then you'll have a straight line. Now, if there's no pattern to it and it goes up and down, up and down, or it goes up very steep and then it goes up just a little bit and then up a lot, then that won't have any uh, an equation that you that will follow a certain rule. So. Let's do this the way that we did both 9-5 and 9-6, which is start by labeling your X and your Y. The reason why I know that that's my X is that your X axis goes left and right. So this right here is your X axis and your X is your yards and the Y axis goes up and down and your Y is your feet. So there's my X and there's my Y. To help you, um, we're going to find our pattern by doing X, Y. These are our yards and our feet. And they're telling you one yard is three feet. Two yards, this is my X, is six feet. Three yards is nine feet. And so it is four feet yards equal, we need to find this. So how do we get from 1 to 3? That also works for 2 to 6. Well, if we try, we can see that the number is getting bigger, so we're going to either add or multiply. Now if we do 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 2 equals 4, not 6. So addition won't work. So we'll try multiplication. 1 times 3 equals 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. Ooh, that looks like a pattern. Let's try into the next one. 3 times 3 equals 9, and so there's our pattern because it works for all the ones prior. And so now we can confidently do 4 times 3. And it's a pattern because this number is going to stay constant. And not only just the number, but what we're going to do with that number. 4 times 3 is 12. And so that's how we got that 12 there. The next thing we're going to do is find our rule, which is the number of yards is our x. So what are we multiplying the x by to find the number of feet, which is right here, our y? How do we get from x to y? We multiplied by 3. So that's how they got the rule. And it's nice because they provide us a sentence frame. Multiply the number of yards by 3 to find the number of feet. The only difference from 9-5 to 9-6 um, and 9-6 to 9-7 is the fact that we just have to graph it. And so you have to keep in lessons 9-1 through 4 in your mind, which is our first ordered pair is 1, 3. And remember, an ordered pair goes x, comma, y. x telling you how many times to move left and right. y telling you how many times to go up and down. And so our first ordered pair is 1, 3. 1, comma, 3. So we're going to go 1 to the right and up 3, which is where they got this one right here. This is our 1, 3. Our next one is x is our 2, y is our 6. 2, 6. x tells us to go right 2 times, so right 2 times. And the y, the 6, tells us to go up 6 times. So that's 2, 6. Our next one is 3, 9. And our x tells us to go left and right, so we're going to go right three times. And then 9 tells us to go up nine times, because that's our y. It goes up and down. And our last one is 4, 12. We're going right four times and up 12 times. Now, if you were to do this inverse, where you would go th um, three first and then one, three going right first, then one, the answer is going to be completely wrong. So remember, you can't switch them up. Or even if you, yeah. So that being said, 
This is a line graph, and so we are going to connect the points. And what I do love about the answer key on this one is that they did put the points here. And so what I want you to do is show your work labeling it here, but also label it here, the 1, 3, 2, 6, 3, 9, and 4, 12, because that doesn't hurt to do. Um, I hope that this one helps you. This lesson, again, is very similar to the ones we've done before. Um, 5 and 6 focused really on finding that pattern, whereas lessons 1 through 4 focused on graphing them. For the problem solving, um, I'm going to try to have you try it on your own for homework, but I will answer it during class if we need to. How can you use the graph for exercise 2 to find out how many cups are in 9 quarts? And so you could do, this is the table right here. You could extend it to 9 first off, and since those are the cups and quarts, um, think about where the 9 will go. And also, continue your line. Like I said, a pattern will follow a straight line. And so once you plot one, two, three, four, five, continue that line and see where it falls for the nine. Okay. Um, I hope that that hint kind of helped you. I kind of said it quickly. So if you want, I'll say it one more time, but you could also rewind, which is the cool part about the internet. But find out where the nine quarts is going to go, whether the nine goes here or here, when you're trying to find the cups. And also, if it's a straight line because it's a specific pattern, you'll have a plot for one, two, three, four, five, and wherever that line is, keep going all the way down and see where it crosses the y-axis on the nine. So here's your x-axis, here's your nine. Where does it intersect with your y? Um, and that will be a huge clue. All right, hope this helps.